Hi friends, welcome to my channel and this is the 15th video of Windows Server 2012 step by step tutorial and in this video I am going to show you how to install and configure iSCSI target server on Windows Server 2012. So like you can say iSCSI target server is used to provide iSCSI learns or drives to other servers or hosts like like you can say Hyper-V host or ESX host any host which require like redundant pa uh, redundant path and redundant storage so like let's have some idea about my demo environment in my demo environment I am basically using three virtual machine here the first one is Win2K12 DC01 which is my Active Directory server if you go, go here uh, Win2K12 DC01 this is my uh, domain controller you can see I have installed Active Directory and DNS role on this server and you can verify the my domain name is victorinfosol.com the computer name and the IP address so this is my basically Active Directory server DC01 and I have two nodes Win2K12 node 01 Win2K12 node 02 which is my nodes and I have joined both the computers in my domain Victor Info Soul. If you want to check, you can check here. The domain name is Victor Info Soul. So I have joined both the machine in my domain. And what I am going to do, I am going to do install iSCSI target server on my Active Directory server and will map the same iSCSI learns iSCSI drive on my both node, node 1 and node 2 with the mic uh, with the enabling like uh, MPIO which is Microsoft which is Microsoft technology to access the same learn on on two or uh, uh, two or more than two nodes at the same time so the first thing I am going to click on file and storage services on the eyes on the iSCSI and we can see to use iSCSI virtual disk the iSCSI target server role must be installed so click on it to install iSCSI target server start add or remove feature wizard I'm going to click here and this will be automatically re redirect you to like uh, you can say iSCSI target server which is selected and just need to click next on the feature page next and click on install so it will install the iSCSI target server role on this server so in the meantime I am going to enable multipathing on both server you can see multipathing is not enabled on, on both the servers so I am going to install on my both nodes add remove our features click next next and click next on the feature page we need to select MPIO scroll down you can see multipathing IO so multipathing IO is a Microsoft device specific model and uh, basically used to uh, access the uh, dit, uh, you can say learns on the same time by by like different different hosts so I'm going to install this click on install and the same going to add on my second node and also definitely I will show you how to access the same learn on the both server and the same time so click next next server name on the server role page we don't need to select anything click next on the feature page select multi pathing click next and click on install so you can see starting installation it will so take some time to get the installation done and you can see iSCC target installation is started up approximately 10% completed and just wait for a few, few minutes to get the installation done So you can see the installation is successful for ISKC target server. Let's close it. And you can see here like MPOIA installation is still running. So let's do the configuration on this. So so there was no ISKC uh, virtual disk. And I'm going to create virtual disk now. 
so click on to create a isqc virtual disk start here so i'm going to click on it and you can see new isqc virtual disk wizard is open just wait it will validate few settings few things and i want to show you that i have only c drive attached here with my server you can see like my full capacity and free i have my c drive with the server and i am going to create like uh, my uh, virtual disk in c drive so select the path volume c click next and the disk name i am going to put like iscc disk 01 click next so this is the path c drive iscc virtual disk and the disk name which is going to be created here click next and it will ask you like the size of the disk so i am going to like 201 gb and i am going to select as a dynamic expandable and click next okay so here we need to select like 50 gb click next and the target iscc target we don't have any iscc target defined yet so need to create a new iscc target and the target name like you can say iscc win to k12 dc01 server name and put like target click next and the access server we need to identify which iscc initiator can access this virtual disk so i i have to assign my both the server node 1 and node 2 here so browse and type win 2 k 12 it will search automatically so we have both the nodes but single time we can select only one node here so click ok and the same we need to select the our two second node which is two so I am going to put here like win 2 k 12 node check name node 2 click ok and once again ok ok so it will add the second server as well as for us So I have given the permission to node 1 and node 2 to access this iSCSI virtual disk which is running on this iSCSI target server click next leave default no authentication click create to confirm so creating virtual disk creating iSCSI target set access and everything looks good iSCSI virtual disk was created successfully if you go here you can see in C drive we have iSCSI virtual disk and our disk which is dynamic ex expandable the initial size is 4 MB so in the in the same you can see the disk status which is not connected virtual disk status target targets everything so I want to create one more disk here iSCSI virtual disk and like the previous thing Let's go here and select the server iscsi disk name so I'm going to use like iscsi disk 02 02 here click next and the size dynamically expandable I'm going to use 50 GB or you can type it like 60 GB this time click next so we have already created iscsi server uh, uh, iscsi target on which we have assigned both the servers so good to go just click next and create so it will create one more disk here this time we don't need to create like a uh, iscsi target uh, iscsi target uh, and iscsi providing access to iscsi target so now if you go here you can see both the disk is created and the virtual disk status is not connected and if you want to verify here we have both disk and let's see so MPIO is also 
installed click close and the second server is also second node is also installed so i'm going to enable the multipathing first so under the tools you can see mpio is enabled so here i want to add click mpio device click add uh, go to here discover multipathing so i am going to add this add support for iscc device and click add so it it will add like uh, iscc devices to support multipathing click a reboot is required to complete this operation reboot now yes go ahead and reboot the server and the same i am going to do here this will enable the multipathing on our server so this time also add yes i want to reboot now so both the server are rebooting just wait for few more second it will after restart i will show you how to how to connect the iscc virtual disk with the iscc initiator so node 1 is rebooted go ahead to uh, log into server node 2 is still rebooting so type the credential so log into node 2 put the credential So now I am going going to map the f disk on node one first. So here and go and launch iSCSI initiator and the Microsoft iSCSI uh, uh, service is not running. This service required to start iSCSI funds and correctly to start the service now. So it it is like required to restart the uh, start the service and on the every restart the service will automatically start so here we are maximize it and on the discovery portal I am going to like discover like you can say my uh, server which is 192.168.1.254 which is my uh, which is my or uh, this uh, ISKC target server and here we can get the detail like uh, one ISKC target discovered and you can click on uh, connect and here you need to enable enable multi path click ok so this will connect click here to close this one and now if you go and launch the disk management you can see the drive there also if you launch the iscsi initiator again you can see under the volume and devices if you click on auto configure you can see the boot disk here but it's it is not like we did not define the drive letter yet so it will look like this and go to just go to disk manager you can see the unavailable uh, like unassigned disk so you can see the 50 GB and 60 GB both the disk is available here just click here bring online the same disk also and now we need to initialize this select the board disk and click ok so it will like initialize the disk and we have both the unallocated space right click create just need to create a simple volume and e drive like put it here eyes can see disk 0 1 next finished and same here create new disk F drive 2 next click on finished so it will take some time to format the disk and then you can see the disk under the my computer so we have e drive and f drive both drive is available now 
you can see 50 GB disk and 60 GB disk here and both the disk is available and now if I go here on my second server you can see your disk is not mapped yet so I'm going to map the disk again so click here go to ISK uh, go to ISK initiator yes service I want to restart the start the service on every restart so just go here under the discovery discovery portal type the IP address 192.168.1.254 the target server name and here you can see the target is discovered click on connect and enable multipathing click ok apply just go here to disk management and this time we do not have to create drive on volume just need to bring online the disk so disk management and you can see disk is offline just bring online you can see 50 GB E drive and the 60 GB is F drive so now you can see the both disk is available on the both servers node 01 and node 02 so now we can see how we have created the ISKC target serve ISKC target virtual disk and how we have mapped the disk with the both, both node so thank you for watching please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any question or query related to this you can post me on my giveaway mail id thanks once again bye bye